Okay, guys, this is a little heads up, um, a safety note, hopefully to prevent you guys from damaging your hub or your sprocket or your body. I learned the hard way. Hopefully, I'll save you guys some time. Um, I decided to go trail riding with this 450, which I'm not a big fan of, but it's the lightest bike I have it right now. It was this or a WR250R, you know, with the directionals and everything on it. That's like 300 pounds, and this thing's like 245-ish. So I decided to take this. I'm not, like I said, I don't like ride, uh, trail riding a 450. She just doesn't crawl well. I wish I had a 250 and never sold my 250. But um, what I wanted to warn you about and what I learned the hard way is that I put this Dirt Trick sprocket on, as you can see, as a replacement. I wanted something tough so I didn't have to replace it as often. And I'm riding down the trails, and all of a sudden I noticed that, like, my rear wheel's locking up and sliding a little bit. I'm like, oh, okay, I got a branch stuck. You know, we were going through all sorts of crap. Weeds, branches, streams, rocks, everything, mud. So I skidded to a stop a couple times. I'm like, oh, maybe my toe's resting on it. Maybe a branch has caught some grass. Maybe there's a stone in my brake system, blah, blah, blah. Finally, um, I decided to get off and check it, and lo and behold, my sprocket was rattling like this, and I was missing two of my six bolts, and all the bolts were loose. And it literally moved, you know, an eighth or a quarter of an inch. So that's like disaster just about to happen, and it already did start happening. So you can see what happened. The bolt heads came out and started cutting my swing arm off. That is not good. Luckily, there's enough meat there that there's no strength issue at this point, but... It could have been a disaster much further, as you know. I could have got hurt, could have had a brake tap I wasn't looking for, especially on motocross. Jeez, I normally never trail ride this. It's only a motocross bike. And I did all this damage in one day uh, trail riding. But my fault, here's what I learned, and uh, you guys may already know, but you, when you pop in your um, new sprocket on, I'm never going to reuse my bolts my hub bolts here they are i reused them and if you look at the dirt tricks website they have a good video about bolts they refer to bolts as kind of like mini springs they kind of have a stretching point to uh, retain tension on things and you can overuse them over torque them over tighten them and kind of lose that springiness and that like any spring spring doesn't spring back once you've overstretched it so i didn't never thought about bolts like that so i think maybe reusing these Made them a little tired. Um, maybe I over tightened them. Maybe, you know, we all want to be uh, get that on there nice and tight. And I also think it's possible that the hardness of this steel didn't allow the bolts to kind of set into it. You know, similar uh, hardness steels would kind of bite into each other nicely or, or aluminum, you know, and steel or softer steel. This thing is so damn hard, nothing's going to kind of bite into it. But that I don't think's the bulk of the theory. The bulk of the theory, I think, is that for some reason there was these washers on there, and I don't think I'm going to use those in the future, but what I think it did was it kept my lock nut from getting all the way onto the shaft of the bolt, and the bolt wasn't penetrating through the lock nut far enough to actually make the lock nut work correctly. Might have been my biggest factor to losing a couple bolts and tearing things apart. So, I'm going to say don't use the washer. Make sure your lock nut penetrates all the way through and then use your Loctite. The new kit I ordered comes with a pre-installed Loctite. And I'm, like I said, uh, uh, I'm going to make sure it penetrates all the way. And then I'm going to torque these to the correct spec, not over tighten them. And then I'm going to check them because I should have checked this sooner. This could have been very uh, deadly, as you know, very damaging. And, and it could have been deadly in a sense, <laughs> got injured pretty badly. So now I've got to go inspect everything and make sure I didn't crack anything. Um, you could see that it marred some things, I think, where the bolts flew out and caught the hub. And then you also have to concern yourself with, did these get oblonged? And mine did mildly. You can feel a little ridge there where things got smashed by the torque of the 450 jamming this thing up. This thing was so loose, it was probably like a hair away from fracturing that whole hub. Um, so luckily it was close enough. My buddy ran home, grabbed some wrenches, tightened up the four bolts I had, rode her home, and then I swapped it out for the WR250R and uh, rode that Cadillac the rest of the day. But uh, that's just a heads up, guys. Be careful. This can really damage your bike. 
uh, the swing arm and the hub and it can get you hurt. So I just wanted to give you a heads up. Good luck.